Disconnect and unclip the MAF sensor harness from the upper airbox. Disconnect the breather tube from the stock intake elbow. Loosen the clamp on the throttle body using a Phillips head screwdriver. Unbuckle and remove the upper airbox from the vehicle. Remove the air filter from the lower airbox. Use a 10mm socket to loosen two bolts at the rear of the lower airbox. Disconnect the intake elbow and air scoop, then remove the lower airbox from the engine bay. Disconnect the coolant bypass hose below the throttle body. Follow the coolant bypass tube to the rear of the engine and disconnect the hose from the bypass tube. Disconnect the breather hard line from the breather hose and remove the bypass tube from the engine bay. Connect the small brass fitting to the provided quarter inch hose and secure it using the provided size 11 clamp. Connect the brass barb to the stock coolant hose at the rear of the engine and secure it with the size 11 clamp. Install the large brass fitting into the stock breather hose and secure it with the original clamp. Install the provided breather hose onto the brass fitting and secure it with the provided clamp. Connect the opposite side of the coolant hose onto the fitting below the throttle body and secure it with the provided size 11 clamp. Attach the silicone coupler onto the throttle body and fasten the T-bolt clamp to 15 inch pounds. Install edge trim along the edge of the heat shield, then install the two brackets onto the heat shield using the included hardware. Place the heat shield into position and install a bolt onto the side mounting bracket to secure it into position. Transfer the MAF sensor from the stock airbox to the HPS intake pipe. Install the air filter onto the intake pipe. Install the rubber vibration mount onto the thread bung on the intake pipe. Install the intake pipe and position the vibration mount onto the L bracket on the heat shield. Use the provided nut and washers to secure it. Tighten the T-bolt clamp onto the intake pipe. Connect the breather tube onto the intake pipe and fasten the remaining clamp. 